Hi, I'm State Representative Sharon Wiley in the 49th District. I'm here in one of the many wonderful and beautiful places in Vancouver. This is Esther Short Park, probably the oldest city park west of the Rockies. This park was in pretty sad shape until our city leaders invested time, money, and heart in making this Vancouver's living room. We have a clock tower and many wonderful activities that happen in this park. When you live in a community, it's easy to take some of its features for granted. Please join me in visiting some of the wonderful places that I've come to really treasure here in Vancouver. We're here at Vancouver's Waterfront Development. America's Vancouver has spent the last 30 years planning for recapturing the waterfront, bringing it back into our downtown. When this development is finished, we will have restaurants, we will have businesses, we will have all ranges of housing, and we'll have a beautiful view of the Portland skyline. And we'll have a livable downtown that's been planned for for many years. I'm really proud to have had a piece of planning and getting the money for the infrastructure so that the millions and millions of dollars of private development can make this happen and be good for the citizens now and in the future. We are here in the technology lab of our brand new Boys and Girls Club. But this is more than just a Boys and Girls Club. This is part of a comprehensive partnership that involves our housing authority, our city, and our state, and our school districts, and many other partners. This Boys and Girls Club has after school and before school and summer programs. It has a kitchen for learning how to cook and have life skills. It has an art facility. It's really great and it's heavily funded by our local philanthropists with their commitments. The next stage is gonna be for parents. The next stage is going to be helping parents get job skills, get connected to healthcare, and get connected to the services they need to become stable and self-sufficient. It's good for our whole community. The third stage is going to be housing for kids aging out of foster care. This represents a long-term vision of Vancouver, the state, and our other partners to make sure that everybody in our community has what they need to become self-sufficient and to succeed in a very, very difficult time. I'm really proud of the work that I and other people have done to make this happen. We are here in the beautiful Vancouver Library, which was built in 2011 with a huge amount of community support. At the state level, we passed a law to enable the city to have the local tools to make it possible on this site. This is a LEED certified building with many artistic features. Right here we have a beautiful tapestry of Native American legends made by our very own tapestry stitchery group. It's much bigger than this, this is just one part of it. We have a early childhood learning center in this library that's a real plus for our little kids. I bring my grandchild here frequently. I'm very proud to be in a community where people support their libraries and more importantly, use them enthusiastically. Thanks for joining me in visiting America's Vancouver. This is a community that I'm very, very glad to serve. There's a lot we need to do together. We need to keep working on solving the problem of affordable housing and homelessness. And we certainly need to fully fund our educational system. This is a big challenge and we will work together on that. And we need to invest in infrastructure to keep our economy strong. The I-5 bridge will need to be replaced. It's an honor to be your representative. Thank you for joining me.